As young children we all had fears, fears of looking under the bed or in the closet knowing that something may be there waiting for us, waiting to take us away or worse still eat us. However that doesn't always go away as we get older, sometimes that fear lingers. So today on top 5 scary videos I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 5 scariest monsters you'll never see coming. Before we begin though be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. And with that. Let's jump in. Coming in at 5, El Cuco. Also known as the Coco, this is a mythical ghost monster equivalent to the boogeyman. Found in many Hispanophone and Lucifone countries, it is commonly used figure of speech representing an irrational or exaggerated fear. Now, the Coco is a male being, while Cucas is a female version of the mythical monster. The legend is said to hail from Latin America. In Spain, Portugal, and Latin America, parents are said to often invoke the Coco or Cuca as a way of discouraging their children from misbehaving. They sing lullabies or tell rhymes warning their children that if they don't obey their parents, El Coco will come and get them and then eat them. Now, El Coco is said to be a child eater as well as a kidnapper. It may devour the child immediately, leaving no trace, or it may spirit the child away to a place of no return, but it only does this to disobedient children. It is said to lurk on rooftops on the lookout for misbehaving children, taking the shape of any dark shadow as it watches. The the oldest known rhyme about El Coco is originated in the 17th century and goes like this Sleep, child, sleep now, else Coco comes and will eat you. Fun. Now, there is no general description of El Coco as far as facial or body description, but it is stated that this shape shifting being is extremely horrible to look at. Coming in at 4, Baba Yaga. In Slavic folklore, Baba Yaga is a supernatural being who appears as a deformed or ferocious looking old woman. Baba Yaga is said to fly around in a mortar, wielding a pestle, and dwell deep in the forest in a hut, usually described as standing on chicken legs. Now, she may help or hinder those that encounter or seek her out, and may play a maternal role and has associations with forest wildlife. The first clear reference to Baba Yaga occurs in 1755. In Lomonosov's grammar, Baba Yaga is mentioned twice, among other figures largely from Slavic tradition. The second of the two mentions occurs within a list of Slavic gods and being next to their presumed equivalents in Roman mythology. Now, in the stories in which Baba Yaga appears, she displays a variety of typical attributes a turning, a chicken legged hut, and a mortar, pestle, mop, or broom. Baba Yaga frequently bears the epithet bony leg, and when inside of her dwelling, she may be found stretched out over the stove, reaching from one corner of the hut to another. In some tales, a trio of Baba Yagas appear as sisters. All sharing the same name. Baba Yaga also appears on a variety of Lopki woodblock prints popular in the late 17th and early 18th century Russia. In some instances, Baba Yaga appears astride a pig going to battle against a reptilian entity described as a crocodile. However, she can either be seen as a literal evil witch treated somewhat humorously in these prints, or as a figurative witch and unpopular foreign empress. Coming in at 3, Black Anis, also known as Black Agnes or Black Anna, this is a boogeyman in English folklore. She is imagined as a blue faced hag or witch with iron claws and a taste for human flesh, particularly children. It is said that she haunts the countryside of Leicestershire, living in a cave in Dane Hills with a great oak tree at the entrance. Folklore also states that she ventures out at night looking for unsuspecting children and lambs to eat, then tanning their skin by hanging them on a tree before wearing them around her waist. Legend has it that she used her iron claws to dig her cave out of the side of a sandstone cliff, making herself a home there which is known as Black Anis Bower Close. Parents in turn warned their children that Black Anis would get them if they did not behave. She was also known to hide in the branches of her oak tree, waiting to leap upon unsuspecting prey. Many of the modern conceptions of Black Anis were popularized in a poem by John Hayrick, given in full in county folklore. I quote, To said the soul of mortal men recoiled, to view Black Anis' eye, so fierce and wild. Vast talons, foul with human flesh, there grew in place of hands, and features livid blue, glared in her visage, whilst her obscene waist warm skins of human victims close embraced. Other traditions stated that when she ground her teeth, people could hear her, giving them time to bolt their doors and keep away from the windows. It is also said that cottages in Leicestershire were purposely built with small windows so that Black Anis could only get a single arm inside. 
Coming in at two, Jersey Devil. In southern New Jersey and Philadelphia folklore, the Jersey Devil is a legendary creature said to inhabit the Pine Barrens of South Jersey. The common description is that of a kangaroo like or wyvern like creature with a goat or horse like head, leathery bat like wings, horns, small arms with clawed hands, legs with cloven hooves, and a forked tail. Throughout time, it has been reported to move quickly and is often described as emitting a high pitched, blood curdling scream. The legend itself seems to hail from a Pine Barrens resident named Jane Leeds, also known as Mother Leeds. The legend goes that Mother Leeds had 12 children and after finding out she was pregnant for the 13th time, cursed that child, crying out that it would be the devil. During 1735, Mother Leeds went into labour while her friends gathered around her. The baby was born normal, however it quickly changed to a creature with hooves, a goat's head, bat wings and a forked tail. It proceeded to beat everyone with its tail before flying up the chimney and heading into the pines. Now, Throughout history, there have been countless claims of sightings and occurrences involving the Jersey Devil. According to legend, while visiting the Hanover Mill Works to inspect the cannonballs being forged, Commodore Stephen Takata sighted a flying creature and fired a cannonball directly upon it to no effect. Now, skeptics believe that the Jersey Devil is nothing more than a creative manifestation of the early English settlers. Boogeyman stories created and told by bored Pine Barren residents as a form of children's entertainment, the byproduct of the historical local disdain for the Leeds family. And finally, coming in at number one, Boogeyman. The Boogeyman is a mythical creature used by adults to frighten children into good behaviour. It is said that the Boogeyman has no specific appearance and conceptions vary drastically by household and culture, but is commonly depicted as a masculine or androgynous monster that punishes naughty children. While the description of the Boogeyman differs on a cultural level, there are some shared similarities. Many of the Boogeyman are depicted as having claws, talons and sharp teeth. Not only that, but the majority of them are of the spirit variety. While the mind Minority are demons, witches, and other legendary creatures. In a handful of stories, some have certain animal features such as horns, hooves, and bug like appearances. In many countries, a boogeyman variant is portrayed as a man with a sack on his back who carries naughty children away. The personality traits of the boogeyman can be divided into three categories the kind that punish misbehaved children, the kind that are prone to violence, and the kind that protect the innocent. All three relate in the same way, being that they all exist to teach young children a lesson. Respect. Now, due to its global impact, it is difficult to find the original source of the legend. The first reference to the Boogeyman appears to be considered the hobgoblins described in England in the 1500s. Many believed that they were made to torment humans, and while some only played simple pranks, others were more foul in nature. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Were there any scary monsters that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, and perhaps we can do a part two. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few Few comments from one of our last videos. Top 5 Horror Movies with Dark Endings The Art of Horror said John Carpenter's The Thing. That ending is so ambiguous and leaves us with no way out. That is very true, but we all know as childs. He was the thing. 31 Web Series said The Orphanage, great atmospheric horror, haunting mystery, and heart wrenching ending all in one. That is very true. When I first watched that, I cried like a baby. It was devastating. Michelle Ridd said Chavs, lol, Lucy, you're my spirit animal. I call it how I see it. Chavs, they're the rednecks of England. That's all I can say. Seven Sins Gaming said I actually missed Lucy and dropping a video on my daughter's birthday. Thanks very much to all of you for the great content I listen to at work. Happy New Year. A lot of you say that you miss me, but I don't actually go anywhere. I am. I'm always here, so. But also, happy belated birthday to your daughter, and happy new year to all of you. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, see you later.